I think uh, uh, particularly understanding of a mandate because uh, I think I think in the past we've seen issues about over regulation uh, you've seen complaints about overlapping mandates with other government agencies and we think those can only be sorted uh, by members of parliament who are the ones who make the law the legislative arm of the government is the most important in all this because we are a regulatory uh, agency so uh, amendments of cap 222 to one align it to the constitution number two to uh, align it with modern technology because a lot of content distribution is now online. Our kids are consuming uh, some unpalatable content on their phones and on computers and playstations and so on. Uh, these are issues that we want to have constant engagement with the members of parliament. But more importantly, in terms of contributing to the growth of the industry, we have rolled out Cinema Machinani and it has uh, elicited a very robust debate because every member of parliament has a stake it is the constituencies, the 190 they represent, who need to benefit from those uh, initiatives. And so we've been able to understand where we need to go, who is ready, what are the facilities available in the counties and within the constituencies. And we have committed to these members of parliament within the little resources that we have, we are going to be filled across the country. And soon, uh, and soon, basically about the law, the law that uh, that's our mandate. We've agreed with the board that uh, very soon, in the next one week or two, we will start looking at the law and uh, start making amendments so that at least uh, the act that is uh, mandated to help uh, the board to function, we amend in line with the new constitution, the 2010 constitution. Secondly, we also are made because of the, the new technology. This is a law that was uh, last uh, enacted 1962. 62. 62. Yeah. So basically, it's too old. So yeah. it, is, it, it, is, reviewed, <laughs> it has been reviewed. So mm -hmm. we are doing a review in the course of this year so that at least by come next year, next financial year, it should be able to function with the new law. Ile ule wamuzi wa makama, ulikuwa tu kutoshelezea ile itaji ya kuakisha kwamba ile filamu it may weather could qualify for nomination for the Oscars. It doesn't mean that it has been nominated. Like in uh, one of the prayers walikuwa meweka, ni kwamba warusiwe waonyeshe siku saba ili weze kukualify. Na kulikuwa na deadline ya 30th of this month. Tuliweza kukomply, na kwa hivyo tuliruhusu, uh, na imeonekana. Sithani imezusha mushawashe vile muna viosema kwa mana uh, kwa maoni yetu, uh, sinema mbazo zimeona na tunumekua kule zimeonyesha imeonekana na watu nusu ya milioni moja chini ya milioni moja um, tuko na wakenya uh, milioni alubaini na tano kwa hivyo wezu kasema imezusha hiyo number, uh, number two I think lazima serikali ifanye kazi yake atuwezu kasema atuta zungumzia ugaidi ama mambo ya mandawa ya kulevia ili watu wengie kule kama kusema kwamba mbanki Muki ban, muki, muki tuwa ile bani kwa bangi, museme bangi ni ma, imeachwa kupigwa marufuku, sasa watu watavuta wote. Sithani itakuwa vile, tunachosema ni kwamba lazima sheria isizingatiwe, wale wanahaki yao kuenda kotini, walienda kotini, walipata ile uh, lifting of the ban for seven days, the matter still continues, the judge was very clear, kwamba baada ya siku saba, ile bani yetu, ile ilani tuliotua, itarudiwa. Kwa hivyo, kuanzia tereza rathini, Rafiki isionyesho mahali popote na sinema theater ambayo itaonyesha itakuwa inakiuka sheria kwa maana jaji alisema 7 days from last friday na ionyeshwe kwa watu wazima wanaotaka kuona sio kushurutishwa na baada ya 30th of september isionekane tena ile bani ya KFCB na resume kwa hivyo kwetu ni kwamba tunajaribu kujadiliana na tumeelezea tawaheshimiwa haya ndio mambo ambayo pia bunge itaangalia kama sheria iko na shida Hawa ndiyo wanao tengeneza na watatushauri vile itatakiwa. No, homosexuality is, uh, is, is illegal in the constitution. Absolutely. So basically, we don't need to do any other law. Yeah, it's already <laughs> in the constitution. <laughs> this was conservatory orders. It's not a win. And I, like I said, it was in context for satisfying the requirement to be nominated for the Oscars. So uh, even me, I would have gone with the same. I mean, you go to court of law to seek justice. And if you are going to allow that not, be to, not to be allowed after 30th, if they were to win eventually, they would have suffered irreparable damage. So for us to be allowed for willing adults for seven days, it's not a loss to anybody. It's the course of law. We must all submit to the law. And if it was uh, the final judgment, we would go to the court of appeal. But right now, the judge looked and said, in the context of the matters presented, they saw a prima facie basis to allow the ban to be lifted for seven days and uh, stated categorically for willing adults only, 
for seven days and the ban by KFCB resumes. What we are saying is after the seven days, wananji wawe makine wasi shurutishwe ama waambiwe kuna ile filamu ama vile unavyosema wadhania kwamba ile ban it was an open lifting of that ban. It ends on 30th of September this month. When is that? I think uh, end of this week and the ban resumes.